It's the most wonderful time of the year With the kids jingle belling And everyone telling you be of good cheer It's the most wonderful time of the year Today's whole review is about a Twilight Zone episode Notably, the 1960 episode Night of the Meek. So the plot of this episode is set on Christmas Eve, and the story focuses on Henry Corrin, played by Art Carney, who plays a department store Santa, who basically is just kicked out of the store because he had a little alcohol while on his uh, time off. But just before he gets kicked out, he tells him that he knows that everyone in the um, store is probably going to get what they want. They, you know, no, nobody needs to worry about anything. You know, they're going to get what they want in the end. But, and I'm going to quote him, what I really would like is for the kids, well, quoting the dialogue here, I'd like to see the meek inherit the earth. Anyhow, on his way home from getting kicked out of the department store he goes down an alley where he finds a large burlap bag with with which is full of bags and uh, presents and everything so he figures yeah what the heck starts handing them out to all the little kids uh, and the, the people who really can't afford anything unfortunately the boss from the job comes back and is like Eh, he just stole it all. Well, anyhow, when anyone else tries to pull it out, anything out of the bag, it turns into garbage. Like, there's a can and a cat. But when he pulls it out, he gives them whatever they want. It's, it's, it's pretty good. I won't tell you the ending because it just spoils it. it, it it's, you have to see it to understand it, and it's funny. This is an episode that I will watch every year on Christmas just because it's that good. You know, Art Carney is fantastic in the story, and um, everyone plays their roles good. The twist at the end was was uh, nice, and it, you know, for a show called The Twilight Zone and how it's always known for having those really weird or bizarre episodes. This is an episode that really isn't that. It's really more a Christmas spirit story. And that's what I like about it. So do I recommend this one? Yeah, I recommend it. I especially love it. I got the DVD where it just has that as the top tier episode and everything. Now wait, you ask. I'm being kind of short on this, aren't I? Well, that's because I did some when I was doing some research on this particular episode, I found out that there was, in fact, a remake of this episode. So, being in the spirit of doing my research and making sure I knew everything I knew, I decided for curiosity's sake, and because it's all about the Night of the Meek anyway, to take a look at the episode from 1985 called... Night of the Meek from the Twilight Zone 80s version. Pretty much it's the same thing. It's just the department store is Stan is kicked out. He wants to give to kids who can't get anything. And same song and dance. Now, I will tell you this. The ending on this version is different from the ending on the original. It's, it's in the same spirit as the original, but its change is just a tweak to make you know that this is uh, not the same movie. The one thing I did like that was also a bit of an improvement on this one is w William Atherton, uh, who appears as, in this one as the, uh, the boss from the job. Anyhow, in this one he's in it, and he does his character really well. 
as for our and the Santa is pretty good too. Richard Mulligan is pretty good. Um, rest his soul, I think. Anyhow, um, anyhow, do I recommend the new one? Um, I liked it. I I definitely enjoyed it. In fact, I've got the link below that's gonna show you the episode. It's not. It's it's one of those like part one, part two things. I'm just gonna put part one, and they have a link to part two on the video. So, um. Yeah, I recommend both. The 80s version was it was unique. But, yeah, I definitely do recommend Night of the Meek overall. So join me tomorrow as we go f to that little island that we like to call Madagascar. <laughs>